Hi, I am now with Dr. Noemi Duhan, better known as Dr. Mimi Duhan. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Dr. Duhan is the founder and medical director of Santa Barbara Street Medicine, a great organization. You do a lot of good stuff for our people, especially for homeless. Can you yeah. tell us what's the mission? So the mission of Doctors Without Walls Santa Barbara Street Medicine is to provide free volunteer medical care for the most vulnerable in our community, including in times of disaster, and to educate our volunteers in the excellent provision of humanitarian medicine in our community. What's the background of Santa Barbara Street Medicine? Well, our organization was founded in 2005 with another doctor named Dr. Mark Stinson, who is a great humanitarian physician who did uh, missions around the world for vulnerable populations. And unfortunately, he died in 2007, and his vision is carried on in our organization. And how do you do that? How do you help the community locally? So we have six different programs. One is we have street medical rounds that we do. Our primary rounds are Wednesday night. At, we start at Pershing Park, and then we walk to different areas downtown where vulnerable, unsheltered homeless populations live. We also have a women's clinic that we partner with Transition House and Planned Parenthood. And that women's clinic takes place the second and fourth Friday of every month. Mm -hmm. We also have educational programs. We teach a class at UCSB winter quarter called the underserved medicine course. Mm -hmm. And um, we also have a medical reserve corps leaders training course. And that ties in with our disaster programs, which is a program to get volunteer clinicians and other support personnel to be able to respond locally in times of disasters. And then we also participate annually in Isla Vista Halloween to have a recovery zone so we can try and help kids who are participating in that event to stay safe and get home safely. So those are our six different programs. Excellent. In a nutshell. <laughs> yes. Can you tell us more about, um, I'm interested on the homeless right now, like how do you approach them? Because, you know, some of them have maybe mental illness yeah. or they are drug addicts. So how's, how's the connection? So that's a great question. Um, we, our street medical work is fashioned after a well-established program in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania called Operation Safety Net. Mm -hmm. And there was actually a great film made about the work of Dr. Jim Withers in that program that was featured in our film festival in 2009. It's called One Bridge to the Next, and anyone can look that up on the internet and uh, see that film online. But we fashion our street medical work after what is being done in Pittsburgh, which is that we use a team. So on our team, we have a physician, a nurse, we have a mental health outreach worker, we have security and a student to carry our hospitality pack. So when we uh, participate in our street rounds, one of our key volunteers is named Jennifer Ferez, mm -hmm. and she's a mental health social worker for the county. She works in the daytime with the homeless, the homeless of Santa Barbara, and at night she volunteers with us. And so when we go out on our medical rounds, Jennifer is one of our lead people who makes the first contact and makes sure that the people actually want to have our services, our medical services. Now, I would like to hear more about women homeless. Yeah. Because I know it's, uh, well, you have a specific shelter. So yes. how, how, how does it work? What so happens there? So that, we have one of our programs is the Women's Free Shelter Clinic, and that takes place the second and fourth Friday of every month at Transition House in partnership with Planned Parenthood. So the Women's Clinic is at an existing shelter, Transition House, but during the day, people who live there are not in the shelter. So we're able to set up our mobile clinic in the shelter. And what we do is we have outreach workers who go out with the Easy Lift van, who's another one of our partners, and we bring homeless women who want to come to the clinic to the clinic. We give mm -hmm. them transportation. And when they come to the clinic, they're offered showers, clean clothing, food, companionship. We're starting a book club. And then additionally, if they want medical care, we have Planned Parenthood there and we can do uh, reproductive health exams and provide medical care through Planned Parenthood. Can you give me an example of one of these women? <clears throat> well, we have a woman now that um, has spoken publicly with us, so I know that she's comfortable with us talking about her. She's a young woman who's pregnant and is living outside, unsheltered, and so she frequently comes to our women's shelter clinic so that we can help support her. She can take a shower, she can get some fresh clothing, do a laundry, get a good meal, and get support. And we are helping her to get to her uh, clinic appointments, which are actually by the county, because she's pregnant. So, so often what we're doing is coordinating care so that these women can get the services that they need in the community. We also have a woman who recently came to our shelter clinic who's 72 years old and has been living outside for a very long time. And she's become a regular participant of our women's clinic. 
So a lot of times we're just supporting women, helping them feel safe, and helping them make the connections that they need. If they do want housing, we're always encouraging that. If they want to have a pap smear, you know, we would be happy to offer that. Mm -hmm. But they make the choices about what they want. We just are trying to support them. Very good. And how do you educate people about these topics? Because you were mentioning you have a education. education yeah. So uh, we have two educational programs. One is at UCSB, the mm -hmm. Underserved Medicine course. And that's a great way that we can offer education for students who are thinking about professions in health mm -hmm. and help them learn about underserved populations in general. It's the Underserved Medicine course. So th there are students who then, after that course, want to continue working with us, and they continue their education by volunteering with us. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is for the Medical Reserve Corps, our disaster, local disaster volunteer team, mm -hmm. we provide an annual training course for that group. Well, this is a great organization, really, to volunteer and to donate. Uh, could we have some information so people can contact you? Uh, there is yeah. a website, I, I Yeah, understand. so our website is www dot santa barbara street medicine dot org and through that website there's all the contact information about our, our organization well thank you dr duhan for all that information and i wish the best for you and all your efforts around santa barbara thank you for more information on the nonprofit spotlight check our website at www.spchannels.tv or call 963-3893 if you'd like your nonprofit featured in a future nonprofit spotlight, contact us at the information on your screen.